Today we'll be testing the FT12 Canadian Stabilizing Wad. This is a direct replacement for the Russian Azot Wad. One of the first companies that offered a slug with a stabilizing tail on it was made by Gualani of Italy. And we could buy these from companies like Ballistic Products. It's a great slug. The problem is they're kind of pricey. Another problem is they don't sell just the stabilizing tail by itself. Well, along come the Russians and they developed their own stabilizing tail called the Azot. And then they started selling slug molds so you could cast your own slugs and put them on the Azot wad. And there was a, a lot of different slugs that you plug onto that Azot. Now, a lot of people bought the molds, but now they can no longer get the wads from Russia because of the sanctions. And the slugs certainly don't work very well without that much needed stabilizing tail. Greg from TATV Canada started developing his own wads about three years ago. And they are very similar to the Azot wads, so much that I had a great difficulty telling the two apart. Now the Azot is on the left and you can see that in that cushion area, they have a little ridge there and the FT12 does not have that. That's the biggest noticeable difference. And another important difference is in that powder reservoir inside that uh, gas seal, the FT12 is a little bit smaller. That's important if you're using dense powders. Now if I was using a powder like Longshot, which is dense, uh, the slug on the left I'd probably have to use 35 grains just to fill that space, but the one on the right, the FT12, I only need to use 30 grains. Now for these tests, we'll be using some one ounce slugs that came from Goodell Shot Shell Company. They originally had Azot wads on them, which are an Atanium now, right? And I thought it would be a great opportunity to remind people about Goodell Shot Shell Company, a company that sells basically just the unloaded slugs. A great place to, to find exotic slugs. And for first time reloaders, this is the place to go. And I should mention that Goodell is also developing their own tail wad, which we should be testing sometime in the near future. One occasional issue I have with every single brand of these types of slugs with the tail wads is the tail wads will sometimes fall off. Now it doesn't happen that often, but if I can avoid it and get 100% results, I'd much rather take a little preventative measure and try to prevent that completely and I will use a little bit of contact cement on the tip of the wad and then when I press it in it it stays on there really well. For most of these tests today we'll be using 30 grains of long shot. A pretty hardy load should get these up to about 1450 feet per second and it should be a pretty good test to see how well these wads actually hold up to that kind of pressure. And I use these three inch holes, which gave me a ridiculously deep roll crib. It'll work though. Now even sillier, we're going to take a federal target load, just cut the top right off there and then uh, remove the shot and the wad and replace it with our Goodell slug with our FT12 wad on there. For someone who's never loaded a shell before, this is about as easy as it gets folks. I put a little roll crimp on there and that thing looks factory. Let's get out and test these things. And uh, we'll see uh, see how these do out of a smooth bore. Yeah. Because uh, they're not really made for rifle barrels. A lot of people think that if they shoot them out of a rifle barrel, they're going to do better, but they're really optimized for a smooth bore. All right. So let's see how you do there. All right, point of aim. Ready when you are. Okay, I'm ready. Woo! Now you can see that we're dragging a nice big old shockwave all the way to the target. Now let's zoom in a little bit and see what kind of shape that wad is in. We're looking for any signs of failure, like a ripped uh, skirt or weird compression where the slug is cocked to the side or something like that and it looks very solid I'm, I'm really happy with the results here same point of aim yes sir okay I'm ready all right ah. 
That one looks a little bit higher. Now the second shot went pretty well too. It landed a little bit high. Uh, we can blame the shooter or my powder load or a number of things, but I don't really blame the slug in this case. And again, what, what I'm really looking for is any defects in the wad itself. Tears, weird compression and all that. And it looks real steady, uh, good stability. It just shot a little bit high. Okay, I wanna get some closer, slower shots with the high-speed camera. Try to see the condition of the, of the wad. So, uh, okay, but anytime you're ready. All I'm right. The left side of the wood with this one. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Ah. Isa, I saw a hit way back there. <laughs> We're now about 20 yards away, and the camera's running at about 9,000 frames a second. And with it this much closer, we can, you know, we're not seeing all the heat and the smoke and everything. And everything looks really good with this wad and slug combo. I've got to say that the FT-12 passes the muster, and it seems to be performing very well. Okay, now this is the birdshot one that's just been... The slug transferred to the birdshot, the federal birdshot shell. We'll, we'll see how well that works. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Right side of the wood. Okay. Worked pretty well. Yes, it did. I definitely felt the lighter recoil. Yeah, it should have been a little, little bit lighter. A lot of bit lighter. Yeah. Now our federal target load transplant round uh, was probably traveling two or three hundred feet per second slower than our long shot round, but it worked quite well. It was again very stable, and. Uh, no issues at all using that uh, original powder that was in that shell. I just wanted to show that it can be done and, and it's a good option for people who have never loaded anything in their life before. Just drop it in the shell and then throw a roll crimp on it. Now this may not be the most exciting video in the world, but <laughs> I was asked to uh, do some tests on these wads and see how they perform and let the world know that uh, this looks like a really good product. To find out what FT stands for, <laughs> and to find out some more details about this wad, check out TATV's channel and their video on this new product. The link is in the description below.